So now let's keep talking about, let's talk about mentors. I was listening to a podcast recently. And it's funny, it was, uh, what's this, what's her name? You guys know her. It's the, the, the lady, oh, Bethany Frankel. Bethany Frankel, the founder and CEO of Skinny Girl. She's also uh, self-proclaimed, like, um, she's done a lot with social media and all this kind of stuff. And she was one of the first people that was, like, I guess, on the Housewives show and things like that. But, and let me, let me pull this up. Because I took some notes from this. Um, and, then, and then I listened to another podcast that was actually, by the way, Demetrius, I like, I listened to the Tim Ferriss podcast. Um, that's one of my favorite podcasts of all times. And uh, he interviewed another person. And it, it was interesting because a lot of the times, right, we, you know, we, I think we all know these principles. But, uh, you know, again, like just like church, we got to keep reminding people over and over again um, of the principles. And they're, they're basic principles. It's no different than if you were, you know, dating, first starting to date someone, right? Um, so what she talked about uh, in this particular interview is that show up and offer to help. Basic. Show up and offer to help. We have three interns now that we're working with. Um, Saban, Mebs, Brandon. Um, Mebs actually was on Instagram. He DM'd me and he said, Hey, Eric, uh, I've been following you for a while. Uh, just want to let you know that I won three you know, small contracts. Uh, thank you for everything that you do. Blah, 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 blah. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Show up and offer to help. Basic stuff, right? Nothing crazy. Basic. Show up and offer to help. Okay, um, and then the, the, the comment that she made, and this is going back to the podcast episode, was offer to be a fly in the wall, melt into the wall, right? And then she said, let them see you're not crazy. So let's go back to Mebs and um, met him through Instagram, right? So offer to help. So now, fast forward, Mebs, are you on? Are you on here? Um, so funny thing is that Mebs, right? Offered to help. I say, hey, Mebs, yep, we're looking at doing an intern program, blah, blah, blah. Would you be interested? Yep, I'd be interested, da, 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 da. Okay, wants to learn. He's in Boston. I'm in Florida. Um, I have a meeting with uh, a client and uh, a team up in in uh, Massachusetts, which is near Boston. And um, so now, Mebs is working with me. He's an intern. He's helping out. Hey, you know, hey, Eric, I'd love to go to the meeting. Sure. Oh, there he is. So he, and we'll bring him on and he could talk himself. Uh, so I invite him to the meeting. And he shows up in the meeting and he's in one of my meetings with a company that does $250 million a year. Just like that. So now the people in that room all know MEBS. That's it. Lisette, same thing. Um, you know, she went to a conference, went to an event, saw me at the event, met me at the event. Hey, love what you're doing, great stuff. Invested, joined a community. Same thing, she's sitting at the meeting with us. So now, the people in that room knows Meb. They know him. He sat at the same table with us. Now we're doing, we're, you know, we're partnering with another company, doing another joint venture, uh, looking at opportunities, like I said, 20, 30, 40 million dollars. And he knows everybody in the room. They know him. How easy was that? And we're talking about this is maybe one month or two months after knowing the guy. He's in a room. So, again, um, show up and offer to help. I think a lot of times for us, we, we, um, we lead with money and I need money, I need money, I need a job, I need to be paid. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, by the way, we I pay all of my interns, so nobody's working for free. Um, but at the same token, you know, you don't go to someone and say, hey, um, do you need help? I could use a job right now. How about, hey, if, you know what, hey, you know what, um, I, all the stuff that you've done, I really admired your work. Thank you. You've been such a great resource. Is there any way that I could do anything for you and, and give back? 
simple, simple stuff, simple stuff. Um, I remember when my son lost his job. And it's funny because we forget that a lot of times the, the people that we admire on radio that have those people sometimes uh, they sent their CDs to the radio station. They went to ask the DJ to play their songs. We, for, we forget all of that. A combination between boldness and humility, right? So you're bold enough to ask them, but you're humble enough to to say, hey, I'll do whatever it takes. Like, I, I, I'll, you know, whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. And in this interview, the, the girl, uh, Bethany Frankel from Skinny Girl, she said that, at one point, she wanted to get inside of a like Hamptons magazine, and she literally volunteered to cook for the guy who ran the magazine and for free, to just so she can get herself exposed to all those people. How many of us are out there doing that? How many of us are actually out there offering right up our time to be able to learn and be mentored by someone who we admire and who we respect? Another thing that someone said, which I've seen happen to me, um, when we looked at the EO Fire podcast, John Lee Dumas. John Lee Dumas on EO Fire podcast, uh, there was a guy that did LinkedIn. Um, he did like he improved your LinkedIn profile page and your LinkedIn website. So he that was a, a business that he had, and he was selling that services on how do you actually improve your LinkedIn profile and that's a business he did so he went to John Lee Dumas uh, LinkedIn profile and he created a report and sent them a report and said um, this is what it would take to improve your profile I went ahead and gave you all the things that you needed and he sent it to him he did it so he went ahead and did the things without even asking permission so it's like I heard your problem and I went ahead and did this already to help solve your problem. Well, fast forward, that particular gentleman gets featured on the John Lee Dumas podcast, which has millions of views and downloads, and his business blows up. How many of you are out there trying to do that, solve problems for people? How many folks are out there? I'll tell you today, I had a young lady today who literally messaged me and said, um, Hey, Eric, I noticed on your website, on, on LinkedIn, one of your links didn't work. And she said to me, she goes, how many other people said that to you? No one. And I thanked her for it. Do you think that that's going to, that particular person is going to get more of my time or more of my attention if they need it? Absolutely. Because they went ahead and saw a problem that I had that I didn't even know that I had and sent me a message and addressed it. So that's another s solution that you can have. Click the join button now to find out about all of the different membership options. You can start off as a fan supporter and move your way all the way up to a GovCon Insider.